Yo, what is going on crypto miners? So, I'm going to show you guys a quick, easy way how to mine Dogecoin if you guys are into the Dogecoin trend. If not, I would recommend finding another coin to mine. You can also mine Bitcoin, Ethereum with this method. So, quick, simple video. Not going to be that hard. Uh, you guys want to go down in the description. I'm going to link you guys unmineable. Download unmineable, guys. It's pretty simple. All you guys got to do is head over to the packed version, save as link, wherever you guys want on your desktop, and open it up. In my case, I'm going to go to PC, NDME, code, it's going to be right here. If you guys do pop up with an error or it doesn't want to open, make sure you guys head over to your Windows Defender and turn off your Windows Defender before you guys start mining. Just because Windows does think of this as a, a virus, but it is not, guys. It's not a virus. Most miners, most um, are viruses towards Windows just because Windows does not allow this. This is why you guys see all these bigger farmers run on Linux because it's a lot easier and easier to maintain. So once you guys open up your thing here, your uh, system, you're going to select what you guys want to do, CPU or GPU. If you guys have a any newer graphics card that was from, like, I would say 20... 2016 and onwards, so that's like the 10th series up. I recommend you guys doing GPU if you guys have, if you guys are okay with mining on your GPU. Mining on your GPU, guys, in the long run will make it go down, will make it a little bit slower and it would make it um, overheat. So do this at your own risk. CPU, guys, do CPU, guys, if you guys are doing this on old laptops or if you don't have a discrete GPU. Now, in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys CPU mining. So all you're going to want to do is hit OK. Next, you're going to want to select the coin that you want to mine, which is Dogecoin. Your wallet. To unlock a wallet, guys, if you don't have one, I recommend going down to Exodus Crypto Wallets. Download it and open it up. Once you guys have opened it up, search for Dogecoin. Head over to Receive. Once you guys click on Receive, this is your wallet that you guys will need. You need to make sure you guys keep this wallet as much as you um, never lose this wallet basically because this is where all your dogecoin is going to be sent to what you're going to be able to use to grab this and go off to let's say like weeble or um like coinbase and convert this uh dogecoin into actual currency so once you guys have downloaded all of that we're going to head on over to mineable so you're going to want to hit start let it run once it is running guys, you want to head over here. I'm going to have it on low power mode just for now. Just because I am recording and I think I'm using my CPU to record, but I'm not too sure. So if you guys are running this at night or during the day, you can put it on high. If you guys have enough good enough cooling or if this is on a laptop and you guys want to make some doge off of it, just have it in the corner, let it run. Guys, this is before electricity, so do this at your own risk. So right now we're on low mode, it's going to use less power and such of that matter. This is for basically idle mining. So as you guys can see, my current hash rate is about 362. We can head over to the mineable website here. Click on Doge. You can enter your, you enter your, your um, address here to see your stats, which I'll show you guys right now. So on here, it's saying that I have a hash rate of 350. So about 350 is the average. So if I were to mine only with my CPU guys for the whole day, I would be looking at 0.9 Doge coins, which is pretty low in my in my um, what is it called? In my understand uh, perspective. So I'm gonna mine with GPU to the same wallet. Oh, head over to the advanced. You can do ETC Cash guys or Ethereum. If you guys have, as I said, newer graphics cards, I recommend doing the Ethereum if you have more than 4 gigabytes of VRAM. If you don't have more than 4 gigabytes or you're barely at 4 guys, I recommend doing ETC hash. So I'm going to do eHash. Let eHash run a little bit. Usually on eHash, guys, I'm usually averaging out to like 20, 27. So that's about 8 Dogecoin a day that I make from doing this. Now you're like, oh man, well, isn't that like gonna kill my CPU, my GPU? Well, guys, and, and think of it, my GPU is a 1660 Ti. Doesn't make enough, you know, profit. Like I'm not making no insane money doing this. Doing this as much as I can, just for the fun of it. I don't let it run overnight. If I'm like, since I'm in college, as I'm, you know, 
doing homework or something, I'll let it run for a couple minutes, make a couple coins. So yeah, guys, as currently a me recording, I hit 22. And if you guys want to head over here, click right here. It actually brings up your wallet automatically. And that's it. Um, to actually pay out, guys, you guys do need um, 50 Doge coins to actually get paid out in this. So yeah, if you guys want to use my referral code, I will have it down below, guys. It does help me out, guys. Um, not a lot. It just gives me 0.25% uh, of my mining rewards. So if you think of it, that's not really anything. It's just it takes away the fee of the of what you got. Oh yeah, I guess it, you guys help me out. So that's basically it, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe. Any questions? Comment down below. I will have all three of these websites down below. Yeah, guys, that's basically it. This has been your boy Ben Link, and I'm out. Peace.